been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel trying to flip it out the stove. Rockin' fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Cutting my brow, might crash, cause a good die young. Get a good die young. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Welcome to Eagle Vision for Thursday, March 30th, 2023. I'm Alela, and today's top story highlights the career fair here at Horn Lake. Hi, I'm with Miss Tennessee, and we're going to talk about the career fair that is today, and she's going to tell us more about it. So it's a career fair. That means that it's employers that will be at the table at the tables in the gym, and most of them hire high school graduates. Um, most of them also hire college graduates. So whether you're tracking to get a job right after high school or if you're playing, planning to go to college, there are people there for you to talk to. So I wanna talk a little bit about what are um, opportunities for advancement. Um, so let's give an example. So if we have job A pays $15 an hour and it's a pretty easy job that you like mm -hmm. and job B pays $15 an hour but it's a little harder. So which one which one would you go with? <laughs> job A. <laughs> <laughs> All right now let's ask some more questions. So job A um, doesn't really have any opportunities for advancement. That's the job you get and that's really pretty much where you're gonna stay. Mm. Job B has opportunities for advancement, which means with training, on the job training and experience, you will get promotions and in three or four years, you might be making $30 an hour. Now which one sounds better, job A or job B? Job B. So be sure and ask those types of questions to all of the employers. Um, the senior uh, English classes and the college and career readiness classes are scheduled to go to the gym today. So uh, be sure and ask all those questions. If you have any questions, um, I'm Ms. Hennessy, and you're welcome to stop by my office anytime. We missed announcing our Teacher of the Month for February. All right, we are here with this month's Teacher of the Month. It is gonna be Ms. Van. We're not going to try the rest of it. We'll just stick with Miss Van, but uh, she's amazing. First year with us here. She's been teaching for a few years. Does a great job with her English classes, and her students love her, and she is amazing. So we're going to introduce her teacher of the month. You can tell they're having fun. Why number four? Hello. Excuse me. Hey, can we have just about ten seconds? So your your very own Miss Van is our teacher of the month. Give her a hand. So thank you, Miss Van, for all you do, and I appreciate y'all. This is an award for all of her classes, yeah. and y'all, and her, and she does an amazing job. Thank you. We are here with Teacher of the Month, Miss Van. Hello. And we're going to ask her a few questions to get to know her a little bit better today. First off, where are you from? Um, complicated question. Um, grew up all over. My dad was in the military, so I've lived like 12 different places. Uh, Mississippi is the place I've lived the longest, though, so I claim it as home. All right, tell us a few of those other places. What What's an interesting place, you, the most interesting place you've lived? Um, Bahrain. It's a small island in the Middle East near Saudi Arabia. I went to kindergarten there. My dad worked for a private contractor after he got out of the military. So, very unique experience. I what learned a lot. Like, what was it like living on an island? Of course, you were little, so it's probably hard to remember. Um, I remember the humidity. Um, the humidity is uh, one of the most prominent things I remember. I also remember there's a lot of sand and dust um, and 
I remember that there were people who would run around the perimeter of the island and it was like the length or the size of an Olympic track. And so my family did that a couple times. And I just remember being like, oh, wow, that's really small. So in my <laughs> All right, silly childhood brain. No, no, tell us about your college experience. Um, I went to Ole Miss. Um, I majored in secondary English education. Um, did you just put your thumbs down? Ew, rude. Um, I was very much into all my English classes. I had a lot of good friends there. Um, I very much enjoyed my time. I think that Ole Miss has a lot of good English classes, especially if anyone's interested in that kind of thing. Is that why you chose to go to Ole Miss? No. What was your decision making? I got a scholarship called METP. If anyone wants to become a teacher, look it up. Um, they'll pay for all of your schooling, including like computers, travel, all kinds of neat things. And then you agree to teach in the state of Mississippi whoop, whoop, for five years and they uh, forgive it all. Okay. Awesome. Now we got some other questions for you. Okay. If you could shop for free at one store, which store would you choose? Um, a car dealership. I need a new car. <laughs> Mine's very idea. old. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. What's your best vacation memory? Ooh, I just went to Universal um, and I got a Harry Potter wand and I got to interact with all of the wand windows. Super fun. If you ever have a chance, would recommend. Oh, and my dog's name is Ginny, so I love Harry Potter. Yes. So, uh, the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal, it's almost overstimulating. Like, it is. It's a little much when you get in there. It's also very crowded, especially over spring break. It yes, I would lot. imagine. I would imagine it was. Uh, which of your teachers had the greatest impact on you? Oh, Mrs. Wallace, my sophomore year English teacher. She was a doll. Um, she was the perfect balance of strict but sarcastic, very smart, pushed us a lot, um, and I learned so much from her. She's an inspiration. Would you like to be famous? And if so, what would you like to be known for? Absolutely not. I want to be left alone. <laughs> I'm with you on that, and especially in a day and age where, like, the media judges you for everything. Yeah. Like, I don't think I want to be famous. Me neither, man. What's not being taught currently in schools nationwide that you think should be taught? Personal finance and budgeting. Everybody I, says that. Like, personal that's the first finance thing and budgeting. Um, I am a little bit of a finance nerd. Um, you absolutely can invest in a Roth IRA from as soon as you have um, income. So some of you who are 15, 16 have those jobs. If you get a Roth IRA, there's YouTube videos, Google it. Um, there's lots of good resources how you can set yourself up for success later in life. Explain to students basically simply about the Roth IRA because they are totally <laughs> Google it um, but a Roth IRA is a retirement account where you can invest in um, starting as soon as you have income and as soon as you put in your money from there you need to choose what you want to invest it in go with some index funds you can Google all these things um, and then you will find some good successes just leaving it there for a long time right. so and the risk starting is, young is great the risk is typically very very low that's yes. how people do it uh, what's the most difficult thing about getting older getting older oh the pain the joints no I'm just kidding um I don't know I think the most difficult thing I've honestly enjoyed getting older so far I know I'm still have some years to go um, but I think growing up you get more perspective on the real the real world and you become a little bit more aware of others and that expands your mind as opposed to when you're younger you're very focused on yourself and so time gives you a lot more wisdom and you can develop better connections with people so I think growing up nice. is a good thing <laughs> nice okay I may you may have already answered this question okay but, um, uh, are you a spender or a saver Sounds I'm, like you're a saver. I'm a saver. I'm very much a saver. I like to be prepared for those rainy days. But there is some measure, there's a measure of appreciation for spending. Don't forget good experiences when you're younger. Sometimes worth it. Absolutely. What's the most significant lesson you've learned in life so far? Oh my goodness. Um, That's a great question. Um, I think going in with an open mind for almost anything that you go into. I've moved around a lot. Um, I've lived in a lot of different places where I didn't typically fit in. Um, going in with open minds and looking to learn from the people who have more experience than you um, is a one is a great way to make yourself more wise and help you develop better connections with people. Um, I think just going in with to life and with no judgments and an open mind so that you can learn where people came from, but also keep a good moral 
<laughs> head on your shoulders. I Absolutely. Yeah. And piggybacking <laughs> off of that, students, as adults, you should never stop learning. And you're yes. going to find that out. Even when you leave school, you're still going to learn things and you're still going to want to learn things. So what would you love to study in the future? I think I'm more curious to study more about finance. Um, I think that would be cool. I also would love to learn more about English. There's so many books I haven't read. Um, it's a never ending list of things that I would definitely like to spend more time learning. All right, so boom, good morning, EVTV. You see this young man right here, you probably already know what's finna go down. It's familiar face around the school for what you be doing? Rapping. You heard what he said. One more time. Rapping. Yeah. This young man here, he done already got signed to a who? Okay, I'm going with you. I'm going, you know, clear up the rumor. So basically, you know, the deal is not real. You get what I'm saying? It's not real, real, but you know, it's just something to do with the homies. You know what I'm saying? Something to do with the homie, you know, he he already rapping for a record deal, that boy making big moves, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So, um, oh yeah, let me, here we go. <laughs> um, ATC Records, that's Around the Corner Records, you know, that's his, that's his record label. And we finna have this young fella, uh, rap for EVTV this morning, hey, so sit back, relax, and let, hey, yeah. All right, bet, so. I'm gonna make sure, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make sure all y'all, you know, be satisfied with what I write about. Okay, so look. Don't, don't cuss, don't cuss. All right, bet, don't worry, it's a Christian rap. Bet. All right, so what I say, look. Hold on, hold it up to your mind. Okay, bet, okay, this perform, is what I say. Perform, perform, like, perform. yeah, yeah. All right, bet, so look. Different perspective and different point of view are things that change, but never pure brand new. Racism and violence have a change a bit. So much positivity, but throw deep into the pit, trying to figure out what we are destined to get. But it's like they said to go, is always something that we forget. Feel like we walking through a heart that pitch dark. The only way we can see for a while is a quick spark. But for me, I use my mind to get through it all. Doesn't matter if I move dizzy, dizzy through it like my mouth full of alcohol. As you can see, I just want to move straight. Be the best of the best and be the greatest of the grace. To live out and get out the devil's hate. Got to keep on driving at high speeds, they say fully awake Don't want to put down on my subject because one mistake Got to keep a stable mind and be real And never let my mind be poisoned by the fake uh, oh, Never great. let his mind be poisoned by the fake You heard it, man, say appreciate give it up for Mark Davian yeah. so, This week's featured vocabulary words are Impervious, incendiary, and incompetent Impervious, unable to be affected by Incendiary Tending to stir up conflict, designed to cause fires. Incompetent, not having or showing the necessary skills to do something successfully. Today's announcements. Pay attention, there's a lot of important information we need you to know. Students, the Prom DJ Song Request Form is now live on our website. This year, the Horn Lake Prom will feature a local DJ and he's wanting you to decide what music will be played. You can log on to our website, hornlake.com, and click the link in the middle of the page. Seniors, it's now time to start sending us pictures for the senior video. You can send pictures and videos to our email account, hornlaketv at gmail.com. Seniors, you can take your scholarships and acceptance letters to the counselor's office so you can be recognized at graduation. That's it for today's episode here at Horn Lake. We are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedules. We'll see you here tomorrow. Have a fantastic I've day. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak. Remember sleeping on the floor. We're still at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel trying to flip it off the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch to take my dog away. It was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day. All this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day. Green light, it's time to go. I don't want to live life fast or die too young. Die too young, hundred miles per hour might crash cause a good die young, get a good die young I don't wanna live life fast or die too young, die too young Hundred miles per hour might crash cause a good die young, get a good die young Push it to the limit, I can't go no more, red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own, I'ma be the greatest, write my name in stone Run my name in stone, yeah I'm coming back home, yeah I'm coming back
young, but here I come. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young, die too young. How did my pride might crash 'cause a good die young? Here I come, push it to the limit, can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Run my name in the stone.